can you uh, tell me who you are and what you do? I'm uh, Eric Nyland. I write science fiction and fantasy novels, and my day job is senior writer at Microsoft Game Studios. And uh, could you give me an idea of what you do day to day at Microsoft? Uh, I do it all. Uh, write manuals, read me files, game scripts, combat chatter. So uh, what first drew you to um, writing? Writing. I was uh, in graduate school getting my PhD in chemistry and uh, I read this really bad book by an author I adored and uh, I got through it and I realized the only reason uh, it got, ever got published because it was so bad because of the guy's name and I thought how hard could this be? So I was in this mode where I had to go to the, the uh, library and learn like a branch of mathematics in a month like oh, go learn complex analysis okay so I said, well, how, you know, I'll just go learn how to write. And so I read over 200 books on how to write fiction, a lot of good Harlan Ellison essays, and that got me going. And I wrote um, my first novel that way, uh, Pawn's Dream. And I really dug it. And I left, dropped out of college, became very poor for a couple of years, and just started cranking on novels. You, uh, you mentioned a little bit about um, your background in science and chemistry. Could you give us a little bit of frame of reference there, where your interests are? In science? Yeah, where they originated and where they are now. Oh, where they originated? I don't know. You know, I always, as a kid, I always dug science. I always dug bugs and, you know, uh, reptiles and paleontology and rocks. You know, the stuff that, that every kid does. And so I just pursued that in college. Um, you know, into more and more theoretical chemical physics until one summer I found myself at Fermilab for a couple of weeks, you know, watching protons and antiprotons being collided together almost at the speed of light. You focused a lot on, on science fiction and fantasy. What, what drew you to that aspect of writing? What, where was your interest there? Well, a couple of reasons. One, I had a natural advantage for writing science fiction because I had a huge science background. Um, my classical mechanics class at UCSD was with Sally Ride, who was the first female astronaut. So all the orbital mechanics stuff in, in the Halo books, you know, taught to me by a real astronaut, which is kind of cool. Um, that and science fiction has kind of a predisposition to put a spotlight on uh, societal problems and events, because you can kind of go forward in time and look back uh, on all the on how our problems today kind of can balloon and, and, and into real troubles in the future. Um, or, whereas fantasy has more of a psychological bent to it because you can use magic and all those things to, to reveal the character's mind a little bit more. What drew you to Halo specifically? Was there something specific that drew you there? A guy named Eric Troutman. He used to work at Microsoft uh, in the franchise division and he was responsible for getting the Halo uh, book program off the ground. And he and I had worked together before on some of the Crimson uh, Skies stuff, the early PC game. And uh, he wanted to get a novel program going. Uh, so he came down to my office and said, would I be interested? And he showed me my first glimpse of Halo, which was a fascinating game, uh, even in the early stages back then. And I was sucked in. But then he said I had to write the, the novel for him in seven weeks. <laughs> 